Hey guys, John here from Sunning Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to compare the mini versions of two legendary rock and metal heads, the Mesa Boogie Mini Rectifier 25 and the PV 6505 MH Mini Head in a high gain setting, so basically focusing on heavy rock and metal riffs. Both the Mesa Boogie Rectifier and the PV 6505 are of course heavily used in the metal and rock genres. They have very recognizable tones, but they are in fact very differently voiced. The rectifier is more sizzly, scooped and sort of loose in the low end, and the 6505 has a much more mid-forward tone with a tighter bottom end. Now the rectifier is made in the USA of course, and the 6505 was made in China, so there is quite a big price difference, but will that also be reflected in the tone? Let's find out. Both the amps have two EL84s in the power sections by the way, this one is 25 watts, obviously, and this one is 20 watts. So they're both great for playing at home, for practice, for recording and stuff like that, but they are surprisingly loud, especially the rectifier. So some people actually do use this one for gigs, for playing on stage. I'm going to use my ESP LTD Phoenix black metal guitar, and that guitar is very fitting for this comparison since it has a Fishman Fluence modern pickup in it. Both the amps will be fed through my Red 7 amplification Amp Central reactive load, and then into the same York Audio Cab IR from the MES 412OS package. Mic mix a one to be precise. And that's of course based on an oversized 4x12 Mesa Boogie cabinet with V30s in it. Let's take a listen to the Mini Rectifier 25 first. I'm on the red channel, so channel two on modern mode, and I'm using the full 25 watt power mode. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. All right, the classic Mesa Boogie rectifier sound right there. Sisley, scooped and sort of loose in the bottom end. It does sound a little bit different than my big full-sized Mesa Boogie dual rectifier though. A bit more tight in the bottom end and slightly less scooped as well. Now let's check out the PV6505 MH mini head on the lead channel of course. Here we go.
Interesting, so the PV sounds vastly different actually. It has a much tighter bottom end and the mids are much more prominent and forward sounding. Whereas the rectifier is definitely more scooped in that upper mid area. Interesting. Now let's check out an AB back to back comparison of both amps in the full mix. Here we go. I like how they differ. Both amps definitely have their place in the sonic spectrum, so to speak. Now let's check out that same AB back to back comparison, but this time with the guitars isolated. Here we go. Okay, so just as I said before, both sound pretty different, but they both sound great in their own way. The rectifier sounds a bit bigger and more fat, but obviously more scooped. And the PV6505MH sounds more mid-forward and in-your-face and tight in the bottom end. Which one would you prefer and why? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna also play both amps together in the same mix, so blend it with the rectifier on the left side and the 6505MH on the right side just so you guys can hear how they sound both together in the same mix. Perhaps that's the ultimate way to combine these two awesome little amplifiers. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons down below as that really helps the channel out. I'd hugely appreciate that. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.